Hello and welcome to Tech Deals How To Guide How to Create a USB Thumb Drive for the Clean Installation of Windows 10 onto a computer that has no operating system at all. You will need two things. First, you will need a USB thumb drive of at least 4 gigabytes or larger. And number two, you will need another computer that already has Windows on it, either Windows 7, 8, or 10, to be able to create the installation media for the installation of Windows 10. Now, we will not actually install Windows 10 on this video. I did that in another video. That will be linked in the description below. And in that video, I show you how to take your thumb drive and actually install Windows 10 onto a machine that has nothing on it. The purpose of this video is to show you how to make that thumb drive in the first place. What if you don't have one? Not a problem. There you go. Link in the description below to Amazon. This is a 16 gigabyte, this is exactly what I'm holding in my hand, a 16 gigabyte USB 3.0, backward compatible with two in case you have an older computer, $5.50. These have gotten so inexpensive, $5.50, that is cheap. Why not get the eight or the four? Because you save a dollar, it's not worth the trouble. You never know when you might appreciate the extra space. Now, if you buy this directly from Amazon.com, please note that items at this price point often are what's called add-on items. What does that mean? It means they want you to spend at least $25 before they bother shipping it to you. Not to worry, A, add something else to it if you're gonna order something else anyway and no problem and it's $5.50 and you're done. Or, come over here to the right side of the monitor Take a look at the column that says other sellers. Over here, there's several other sellers, including one called Arsenal PC. No relation to me, I don't know who that is, but they do have a lot of feedback and they're offering it for $5.99, free shipping, no minimum. So it's 50 cents more, but you don't have to buy anything else. So check it out if you need one, but if you have one, you don't need one. Now, I mentioned before, the second thing you'll need is a Windows computer. Now, I will put this link in the description below. If you're watching this video on your other Windows computer, you don't have to do this search, just use my link in the video description. But, we're gonna type in Windows Media Creation Tool into our search engine. And at least in Bing, the very first option is the correct one. And this is the website you should see, either by typing in Windows Media Creation Tool or using my link in the video description below. You'll notice here that there's a big Update Now button. Don't click that. That's for installing Windows on the machine you're doing this on. You want to come down to looking to install Windows 10 on your PC just down here. Download Tool Now. So we need to download that. This doesn't, it's very small. Running Security Scan and then we'll click Run once that's done. Yes, we want to give that permission to run. With that running, you can close your web browser. Getting a few things ready. Now, this installation will normally take about a little over three gigabytes on your thumb drive. It doesn't make the rest of your drive unusable. This is a 16 gig drive. It'll put three gigabytes of data, but the other 13 gigs is still available for use. You can still reuse this or copy additional files. You have to accept the license terms because you have no other choice other than not doing it. And you have two options. Upgrade this PC now or create installation media for another PC. We're going to choose create installation media for another PC. Hit next. Now, most people can just leave these at the defaults, but let me explain them just in case. I'm going to uncheck use the recommended options for this PC. The first option is language. You can download Windows 10 in a lot of different languages. Since I speak English, I'm going to leave it at English. Addition, there are three choices from this dropdown. Windows 10, Windows 10 Home Single Language, and Windows 10 N. Windows 10 N, I can't imagine anybody would pick. That's there for legal obligations with Europe, a settlement with the EU regarding options, ignore that. Windows 10 Home Single Language only gives you the home version. Why is that a big deal? Well, the standard Windows 10 option actually puts both Pro and Home on here. It doesn't take up extra space because really there's no real difference in Windows. When you go to install Windows, one of two things will happen. Either you will put in your product key and it will automatically figure out install Home or Pro based on your product key, or you'll click skip the product key for now and then you tell it to put Home or Pro in your system. 
If you do have a product key though, make sure you actually pick the one that you have a product key for because you can't change it later. The, the only real thing that you should look at here is architecture. Most of you should choose 64-bit. What happens if you choose both? If you choose both, it takes up six gigabytes instead of three, and because that's actually two completely separate installations. If you want to create a USB thumb drive that you can use on many different computers, that's what you would use both for. When you use a both thumb drive, one of the first questions it will ask you is, do you want to install 64-bit or 32-bit when you go to install Windows? However, if you're just doing this for a one-time use, don't bother. Why might you choose 32-bit? If you're installing Windows 10 onto a computer with less than four gigabytes of RAM, maybe it has two gigabytes of RAM, maybe it's 10 years old, that should have the 32-bit the version because the 64-bit version uses more system memory than the 32-bit and on a very RAM limited system, such as a system with two gigabytes of RAM, you'd actually probably want to use the 32-bit version unless you plan to upgrade the RAM. If you have four gigabytes of system RAM or more, choose the 64-bit version, which is exactly what the recommended defaults picked anyway. So we're going to hit next. Now you have two options. USB flash drive or create an ISO file. What's an ISO file? An ISO file is basically the image of a DVD on your hard drive. If you don't have a USB thumb drive, but you do have a DVD burner and a blank DVD that you can burn to, what you would do is choose ISO file and save the file to your hard drive. Pick my documents or someplace that's really easy. Once the file's created, you would put your blank drive into your DVD drive, and if you're on Windows 7 or later, you can actually right click on that ISO file and choose burn to DVD. Windows will, knows how to burn those without any additional software whatsoever. You would just burn it to the DVD, and then you could use that DVD to install Windows 10 if you wanted to. If you have a thumb drive, use it, it's much faster. So we're going to choose USB flash drive. We're gonna hit next. Now it says we can't find a USB flash drive. That's because it's in my hand. Why do I like this particular one I just showed you? No caps to lose. The end just pops right out. Very, very handy. So I'm gonna come over here just so you can see it. Normally I'd stick it in the back, but just so you can see it, I'm going to stick it, if I can do it without looking. There we go, into the USB port. And it popped up a message saying, what should we do? No worries, we'll ignore that. Refresh drive list. When I hit refresh drive list, it immediately found the USB flash drive. I'm going to choose next. Now at this point, it's going to download Windows 10 and then create the USB flash drive. Depending upon the speed of your internet connection, Depending upon whether you have a USB 3 or a USB 2 flash drive, this could take a few minutes, this could take an hour. If you have a slower internet connection, if you're using a slow flash drive, go walk the dog, go have dinner, go have a snack, get your coffee, watch a TV show, do something else. You can still use your computer while this is going on, by the way. This doesn't stop your computer. You go browse the web, check your email, do what you want to do. But how long this takes will completely vary depending upon your internet speed and your USB thumb drive speed. And it says we're 30% done. I have a fairly decent internet connection. However, this will still take more time than you want to watch. So I'm going to trim this video and we'll be back as soon as this is finished. And we're back. We are at 97% progress on creating the Windows 10 Media. After it downloaded, it started this process. How long has this been? Oh, about 15 minutes or so. Not too bad, but again, how long this takes will depend upon your internet connection and your computer speed and how fast of a USB thumb drive you have. Once this process is complete, it simply has to clean up some files. There we go. That was pretty quick. Your USB flash drive is ready. Click Finish, Setup is Cleaning, and it's done. You can now safely take it's, there we go. Take the USB thumb drive out, 
and you are good to go. If you are now ready to install Windows 10, check out the link in the description below, which will take you to the actual video showing the installation of Windows 10, and I certainly hope this has been helpful to you. Like this video if you like it, don't if you don't. Remember to subscribe to my channel, the big huge red button right down there. When you subscribe, you will get updates and notifications about upcoming videos, how-to guides, performance reviews, hardware guides, unboxings, and all other sorts of cool tech-related stuff. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, go in the comments section below the video. And as always, check out my video description below. I'll have a link to this USB thumb drive on Amazon and as well as Newegg if I can find one on there, as well as to the Microsoft Windows Media Creation Tool and to my other videos. Please check those out. I certainly appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.